look at after walking Bip Roberts lead off the game. Bip takes off. Omar Vizquel would bunt him over to third, and Manny Ramirez would bring him home with a base hit. one nothing Tribe, just like that. Then with runners on the corners, Cone is wild. Ramirez scores, makes it 2 nothing Cleveland. Matt Williams was at the plate, was hit by Cone, putting two men on for the all-star hero, Sandy Alomar, who recreates that all-star moment with a three-run shot that puts an exclamation point on Cleveland's five-run first. Cone in disbelief, along with the Yankee fans packing the house at Ruth Bill. Bottom of second, bases loaded, Yankees, nobody out trying to come back. Earl Hershiser on the mound for Cleveland, facing Wade Boggs, who grounds to Roberts, to Vizquel for one, but Chad Curtis eschews the slide, breaks up the double play, no interference call. Bernie Williams scores, but that's all the Yankees would get there. It was 6-1 in the fourth when Tino the Bambino begins the chipping away of the Cleveland lead. It's 6-2 now, a solo shot, Yanks bench, Lovin, but they still trail by four runs, bottom five. Yanks load the bases again with two outs. It's 6-3 at this point. Martinez facing Eric Plunk at this point, and Martinez looking. Tino bumming, Indians loving. Bottom of the sixth, it's 6-4 Indians. Tim Raines looking for his first career postseason home run, and he got it with a man on. Yankees come back complete. It is now 6-6. Six six. Plunk, am I bleeding? I just got tagged. Next batter, Derek Jeter. Oh, he caught it, he get it? He got all of it? He did. Back-to-back -back jobs puts the Yankees on top. Plunk devastated. Mike Hargrove has seen enough. Wants to bring in the lefty Paul Ossenmacher to face the lefty Paul O'Neill. And O'Neill scoffs at the percentage play. Another home run. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back jobs. A five-run six for the Yankees, matching the five-run first for Cleveland. Eight-six Yankees. The Indians come right back in their half of the inning, load the bases. Jeff Nelson gives up the long fly ball for Matt Williams. Paul O'Neill at the track makes the catch. Williams, oh, thought he had it. Still 8-6 Yanks. Fiskell and Robert would keep the Indians in the game with some defense. Mike Jackson facing Joe Girardi. Bottom of the seventh. Girardi grounds to Roberts. Curtis Barron down on Fiskell this time, who completes the double play. You know why? He's like, all right, if you're not going to slide, I'm going to try and take your head off. So Curtis had no choice but to duck. Bottom eight. Tim Raines against Mike Jackson. The 1-6-4-6-3 double play that hit Jackson first. Still 8-6 Yanks. Top nine now. Manny Ramirez on first. Nobody out. Mariano Rivera in. Jim Tomei, the looper. Derek Jeter makes a nice catch. One out. It's two out now. Rivera facing Matt Williams. The tying run at the plate. And Williams swinging. That will wrap it up. The Yankees. Coming all the way back, a stunning 8-6 victory over the Cleveland Indians in game one of their division series. It's leadoff man Tim Raines, but then walks Derek Jeter on a 3-2 pitch. Then Paul O'Neill walks on four straight. Bernie Williams now up facing right. Full count. Runners on the go and right walks Williams to load the bases. Indian pitching coach Mark Wiley would try to settle the young right down. He did average three and a half walks per nine innings, so sometimes this happens as skipper Mike Hargrove looks on. Tino Martinez slaps one down the left field line. Jeter scores. O'Neill comes home from second. Two nothing on the Martinez double. Wright's mom and daddy with the predictable reaction. Meanwhile, Andy Pettit cruising along, leading three nothing in the top of the third. Gets Jim Tomey. Dropped down into the seventh spot against the lefty. With two outs in the inning, Marquise Grissom on first. Pettit picks him off. The 15th of the year for Andy. Grissom thrown out at second, a shutout through three. Top of the fourth, still 3 nothing Yanks. Omar Vizquel, the bouncer to Charlie Hayes at third. Makes the great pickup, but the long throw gets away. Vizquel hustles to second. And then goes all the way to third. The error on Hayes would prove to be costly because with two outs, the Yankees would intentionally walk Matt Williams to get to David Justice. Justice, 322 this year against lefties, delivers the clutch two out single to right to score Vizquel, cutting the Yankee lead to three to one. The next hitter, Sandy Alomar Jr., the all star MVP, fists one into center. Williams comes home, and it's 3-2 Yankees. Tomey up next with two on and two out again. Dropped to the seven spot because of the lefty. Dribbles one up the middle. Justice comes around to score from second. We are tied at three. Still two out in the fourth. Former Pettit teammate Tony Fernandez hitting lefties at a 4.07 clip this year. Hits one over Chad Curtis's head. Remember Curtis playing because of his defensive prowess, but the misplay gets the Indians two runs. Alomar scores. Tomey scores. Top of the fifth, Matt Williams. The drive to left off Pettit with one on and two out. 
The two-run homer gives the Tribe a 7-3 lead. Meanwhile, Jarrett Wright settled down. In the sixth, he strikes out the side, fanning five in the six innings. Bottom of the seventh, Paul O'Neill, who'd homered off Paul Ossenmacher in game one with two on. The slicer down the right field line, just foul. O'Neill couldn't believe it, also couldn't get a hit. Pettit, hoping for a Yankee rally in the eighth. Wade Boggs comes out of the dugout to pinch hit with the bases loaded. Yanks down 7-4. to four. Boggs 0 for 13 as a pinch hitter. Omar takes away the hit, two outs. Then Tim Raines, a chance with the bags juiced against Jose Mesa, but the weak ground ball to first is grabbed by Tomei. The Indians hang on to win it, 7-5. to five. All seven tribe runs coming with two out. The Yankees leave nine men on base. Nobody out. Jeter hits the comebacker to Nagy, and Nagy tosses it to center field. E1, Raines to third. Paul O'Neill would single him in, 1-0 New York. Still top one, bases loaded for Cecil Fielder against Nagy. Hargrove slightly nervous. And Nagy K's big daddy swinging to stop any further damage. Bottom two, still one not the New York. Runners on first and third for Tony Fernandez against David Wells. Fernandez grounds to Jeter, who gets one. Sanchez fires to first, and not in time. Matt Williams scores to tie it at one. Joe Torre is upset. Let's see what the issue is. Dino Martinez catches the ball as Fernandez is in the air. Tough one there. Top 4 2 1 New York. Charlie Hayes at the plate. And he lines one deep to left, but Bip Roberts is in love with his glove. An outstanding catch to Robin. Same inning, two outs. Derek Jeter, good eye, loads the bases, and Hargrove is seen enough. Chad Oja in the pitch to Paul O'Neill. Two outs. The bases are juiced, and Paul O'Neill has one thing to say. Slapjacks, a grand slam, dead to center, 6-1 Yanks, O'Neal is pumped, Nagy is not. Bottom five, 6-1 Yankees, Kevin Seitz are up. He grounds the third, but Hayes with the diving stop, throws from his knees to get the out. Bottom seven, Wells is cruising, he gets Marquise Grissom to pop up to Sanchez at second, Ray a drop of Golden Sun. Bottom nine, two out. Wells, Sandy Alomar. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing and the game is over. Yankees win. Wells retired 14 of the last 15 batters he faced. To avoid elimination, the Tribe must beat a team that is 16 and 5 at the Jacobs Field. Top of first, runner on second for Paul O'Neill. He takes Hershiser the other way. It's into the corner. It's a double. The Yanks are on the board quickly. It's 1 0. Three batters later, runners at the corner for Sess. Lines it to center. It's a base hit. Paul O'Neill's coming to score, and the Yanks early support. 2 0. The next batter. Men on first and second for Charlie Hayes. The single to left. Brian Giles is coming up, and he's throwing. Tino Martinez coming to the plate. Nice hose. Hershiser gives up two in the first, but it could have been worse. Bottom of the second. 2 0 Yanks. Dave Justice looking for something off Gooden. It is back. It is back. It's not coming back. It hit a guy in the back. Cuts the lead to two to one. Gooden would settle down in the third. Man on second, one out. Jim Tomei's the batter. Fall the hostess. Your table is waiting. And then David Justice swinging and going away as well. Hershiser sharp as well. Little defense. Paul O'Neill, the grounder, but Hirsch backhands it, guns him out. And on we go to the bottom of the six. 2 1 Yanks. Runner on first for Jim Tomey. One out. The big drive, but not deep enough. Bernie Williams going back, making the play. He knew he had it. Two out. Gooden was pulled after Sandy Alomar infield hit. Graham Lloyd coming in. Pinch hitter Tony Fernandez. He slaps at the third. Charlie Hayes. My bad. Loads the bases. Lloyd comes out. Jeff Nelson comes in. Marquise Chris on the bat of the bases loaded. Two out. Got him to pop up. Ends the inning, and the Yanks hanging on 2-1. The bullpen would have to save this thing. Bottom eight, Mariano Rivera to Sandy Alomar. Not sure what the pitch is, but it tastes like chicken. It's a home run. Ties the game at two apiece. Bottom of nine, 2-2. Two -two. Mendoza now in, facing Grissom. And Grissom, bloop single. That thing will drop. Cleveland trying to extend this to five games. The leadoff man's on. Bip Roberts is next. The bunt. Ray Sanchez makes the fielding play. Flips it over, gets one. But the runner advances to second base. Winning run on second. Little O. 
chops it off the pitcher through the infield. And here comes Grissom to score. Cleveland dramatically coming back to win this thing, forcing a game five on Monday. The series all tied up at two apiece. Jeter with Tim Raines on second. The 2-2. Two -two. And Wright strikes out. Jeter one out. Still top of the first. Two on two out. Tino's at the plate. Pops it up in the infield. Tony Fernandez is there to make the play. And Wright is fired up. Gets out of the first. Top of the second. We're scoreless. Runners on first and second. Joe Girardi at the plate. Girardi. Liner off Wright's glove to Fernandez. The flip to Omar Vizquel, who jumped over Charlie Hayes to complete the 1 4 6 3 double play. Girardi couldn't believe it. Watch it again. How about the leap? And to get the runner at first, Joe Torre came out to argue the call with Rocky Rowe. Bottom of third, Marquis Grissom is on third. Biscale on first. Biscale stealing second. And the Yanks don't stop. Play is important because, same at bat for Manny Ramirez. It's a bomb over Bernie's head. Ground rule double. So both Grissom and Biscale score. 2 0 tribe. Next batter, Andy Pettit. They face Matt Williams. Williams comes through, squeaker through the hole. Ramirez rounds third, hit score, make it three nothing Cleveland. Bottom of the fourth, runner on third for Tony Fernandez. Sacrifice fly to right, scores Sandy Alomar, or did it? Watch this, Joe Girardi tags him, thinking Alomar never touched the plate. Watch it again. Did he ever make contact with the plate? Dave Phillips said, yeah, he did. He touched the plate. 4 0 Indians. Top of the fifth, first and third. Bernie's at the plate. Remember, these are the Yankees. Williams, base hit to right. That would score Tim Raines. And they send Paul O'Neill around as Ramirez misplays the ball. And the Yanks have cut their deficit in half, down just 4 2. Pettit couldn't bear to watch. Top of the sixth. It's still 4 2. With Mike Stanley on second. Wade Boggs at the plate. Boggs, bouncer up the middle. Stanley racing around, showing off the wheels. He would score 4 3 Indians. Top of the seventh. Derek Jeter leading off. Facing Mike Jackson. Slow roll to, roll to Omar Vizquel. Vizquel's throw, not in time. Or was it? Check this one out. Rocky Rowe initially calls Jeter out there, but changes it to safe. Might have been right the first time. Next batter, Paul O'Neill with Paul Ossenbacher pitching. Great stop and a throw by Jim Tomey. Watch it again. The stop. Tomey couldn't have made a better throw if he was standing up. What a play. The next batter is Bernie Williams, who struggled all series. Ground ball to the scale. Double play to end the inning. Bottom of the seventh we go. Yanks turning up the defense. Tony Fernandez, ground ball. How about Charlie Hayes playing second base for stopping the throw? Check this one out again. Only the fifth time all season he played second base. To the top of the eighth. Two outs. Sandy Fox on third. It's 4-3 Indians. Jorge Posada at the plate. Ground ball right back at Jose Mesa. Posada retired. The Indians survive the threat and right. Is still fired up. Top of the ninth. One out. Derek Jeter at bat. To the third base Grounds to meekly to third. One Two down. Out. Next batter is Paul O'Neill. O'Neill puts right one of the gap field. in right field. Get there off hits the off the wall. Got to get in the scoring position and just barely he does with the Seven awkward the slide, but he was safe at second. Scott Pose came in to pinch run. Next batter is Williams again. And Bernie hits it to left. But jo Giles Brian Giles is out there Seven. without a problem. And the Indians have no problems for now. They win 4-3, eliminating the Yankees. The Indians are headed to the American League Championship Series for the second time in three years. Manny